All right, we're recording again. We're inside of the maintenance building. It would appear that this is three-phase power. What I didn't do before is just simply lift this thing to see how much what the power draw would be. I see it's powering the house. Uh, weight room, I guess. Another part to the house. And this is... I can't see how many... Um... I honestly don't see how many amps this is. Maybe it can't possibly. Oh, that's maximum 50 horsepower. So this box is really designed for horse, horsepower consideration. So here are the filters and really big valve and more filters over here. Our pump. Now, if they say this wasn't winterized, it kind of makes you think that this might not have been winterized, but I don't see any cracks in it. And I don't know that that fellow was telling me the truth anyway. Um, I don't see any obvious cracks. So, that's not a crack. That's whatever it is, it's not a crack. So just looking at this, okay, that's just a support beam. I would think I would see some kind of indication of additional cracks, and I don't see any. So I wanted to point out that the roof does have, it's all steel beam. Uh, the joists look healthy. I don't know if you heard that, but they were talking about the buying habits of the former owner, that he wouldn't buy anything until they absolutely had uh, exhausted everything that was here, which is smart business. So we've got a very large heater. I mean, that is one hell of a stack right there. I don't know. Okay, so we're just going to go through here. Again, more of the maintenance building. This is a three bay. This was one bay. So you essentially have a five bay maintenance area. Concrete block, all in good condition. Um, these auction items will be um, auctioned off separately, but there's a delay in the, um, in the auction so that if the buyer of the property wanted these, they could make a bid on these things prior and possibly buy the whole lot. So, I'm sure it was a lot. Uh, it was a melee, like, especially for the guys that couldn't have a shallow in, you know, so you could, but the guys that didn't have a lot. All right, I'm trying to read the specs on this, but I can't. My guess, based on other stuff I've owned, this is going to be like a million BTU heater, because that's some pretty powerful two burners. Um, yeah, unless that's steam. Hold on a second. Hold on. Okay, we're, it, it must be a steam boiler. Oh my goodness gracious. Boiler licenses. Yep. Okay, well, that throws a wrinkle in it, but why on earth would you ever have a vent that large? I don't know. Anyway, it looks like then we go over here. If this is the steam feed, then there must be an exchanger down there somewhere. Ah, I don't see it. I have no clue. I don't, I don't see it. Oh well, one of life's mysteries. And this, well, it's part of the filtration system. Oh, this might be for the little kids' pool or something. It has the number five there. Um, you have, well. Wow. 
We'll go outside now. Uh, this is a heated maintenance building. I noticed that the health room, uh, exercise room, is air conditioned, but it's only a little tiny air conditioner. Um, so we'll go out here. So we have the toddler's pool and whatever they call this pool here. And we'll just walk through. It appears that all the chairs are being sold. I do see yellow tags in every lot or so, just like these picnic tables. That's lot 100. That's number 99. This uh, soccer thing is 98. The tent. Is unknown. I think so. I didn't realize that that was a boiler, the big green vented uh, appliance. Yes, sir. And I was kind of guessing on how many BTUs that was. By the way, this is Seth. I'm running a movie, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. No, you're fine. Hello, hello. <laughs> so I just guess that that was like a a million, million and a half BTU. Um, I don't have furnace. any knowledge, but but there might be... Uh, well, there might be a placard on it. I didn't take the time. I do have a flashlight in my pocket. Maybe we'll look at it. Yeah, I don't mind crawling around back through there, and I'm always looking for an opportunity to get my few minutes of fame. Yeah, there you go. So what are the most clever ideas that people have come up with? Anything really outstanding? You know, so... <laughs> Um, I, I thought it was really intriguing, the idea of campgrounds and keeping the recreational facilities. They actually already had that listed in their very opening documents that they were talking about. It, just goes, it goes this way, actually. And, um, then, and then I also I had a gentleman contact me who is from the California area. Uh huh. And, and they have a lot of older, uh, Active 55 and older that's Rich that centered around. Yeah, that's Rich Hake you were talking to. Oh, okay. I just had that conversation with him. Yep. Um, yeah, I can't read this. Oh, wait. Hold on, folks. And I had put him on to the property. Now, it's a little early for him to be able to... Uh, it's okay. This is whatever it is. Ordinarily, anything over 15 pounds, I think you need a license, so... So I'm starting to see some of that come off of there. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Here goes some spittle coming your way. <laughs> there we go. Does that pee maximum working pressure water? No, that doesn't help us at all. Um, that would be normal. Uh, I'm just looking for BTUs. It doesn't matter. It is whatever it is. My guess is that it's either sized or oversized, according to the pool. I've never had a million-gallon pool, so I don't know how many BTUs that, that takes. I got a tiny pool. Hold on here a second. All right, so let's turn this thing off.